We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. We're diving back into SD Gundam G Generation Cross Rays. And we're amidst a pretty sizable battle. I don't know how much longer this uh, is going to go, this battle and the story that follows. Uh, whatever it is, we'll maybe do some like house cleaning type stuff in, uh, in afterward if the episode's real short. Or we'll just have a short episode for a change. So... Either way, I think uh, I think that's fine. All right, let's uh, let's get into this a bit here. I'm gonna continue to give our Lamb and Rody a little bit of love. It's getting closer, but I honestly don't think even if he does kill all of these, that he's gonna be capable of doing whatever he needs to to survive and to uh, like empower himself enough to be claimed and then we killed too many things already even killing those last two I don't think is going to change anything but you know I'll still do the, the last double kill that way we can at least know that you know uh, there's less to do next time we we run this mission so we don't have to rely quite as heavily on that we can get more experience or whatever from all the stuff that we're doing all right, that's just about everyone except for looks like the Barbatos still has a, a little bit, and then these guys down here, they still got a little bit that they can do as well. So yeah, let's let's do some of this stuff. I have to reduce the casualties. I mean, you definitely gonna try. That looks like it's gonna take us a while to get these boys. Nightblade with the support of your boy. It's weird that the, the mobile suit that he's using is just essentially eh, some some stuff there. It's the big old uh, butter knife oh boy. Big old butter knife boy. Too far. There we go. Taking that thing down. There and back to Barbatos. Lay a Vignana limiter off. I'll break through some more stuff. I still got more to go. Crazy. Got super high morale. Okay, good, good, good. And. 60, okay, so I think we're fine. What did we miss? Oh, Lofter and Ozzy. I guess they could try to finish this thing off. There's no end to them. Gonna skip. I didn't mean to throw it in there. Ugh, lungs are like, nope. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, spawn on more babies. Oh. So what all did that hit? Oh. That was kind of tremendous, I guess. Uh, sure. Hit him with the halberd, why not? Yeah, I'll take one of these things down. Get him, Commissar. Yeah. Commissar doing some work. Uh, sure. Scissor stab him. His smooth bore uh, gun. Uh, I guess we're gonna scissor stab him again. Yeah, we'll let Commissar keep shooting at people. I don't see a problem with that. 
I wonder how much the big guy, uh, we're just gonna evade at this point. I wonder how much the big guy, uh, healed for. Did he go, like, full on, like, full heal, or... He got resupplied. It was energy, for sure. Let's take a look. Oh god, he's fully healed. Oh, I have to be careful, man. I, I could kill him at any moment with, uh, whatever I throw at him. It's gonna be a little scary. Alright, let's get our landman roadie done with his, uh, his job. Looks like I won't have to kill too many more things my next time through this mission. I mean, I don't know what you want from me at this point. Alright, so those guys are all basically done. Uh, and yeah, I guess he fully heals after... Or at least fully energizes afterwards. So that should be supercharged Mika at this point. I don't think Commissar is strong enough to kill him in a single shot. I certainly hope not. Okay, I was only 8,000. That's not that bad. Attack, Mega Cannon. That was almost nothing. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was, that was a heck of a counterattack. Not uh, yet. This match is far from being settled. So you say that, and yet I am not sure that that is true. All right, we're gonna raid Link up, but I just want one thing: the raid Link up. So much damage. How much health does this guy still have left? Can it survive an attack from us? I mean, I still think I'm weaker than... That wasn't that much. I mean... Do you think he, he's gonna kill it outright? I hope not. Alright, like, he's not gonna kill it. Oh. He had 19,000 health, right? Okay, okay. Uh, ooh, I was getting worried. I'm like, um... And you're definitely not going to be able to kill it in a single shot either. I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that piercing, though. Oh, that was adorable. Alright, let's, uh, let's get our last few kills out here. Alright, blade... And then Mika should be able to just absolutely annihilate him. Not bad. And we'll get Big Sword Boy. I, I kind of want to see what this looks like. Oh, let's take a look at the Big Sword. Or the Big Butter Knife. And we'll try to use the Brigadier General's machine. I will take you down. It didn't look as big as I was expecting it to. Helm Widge Reinkar. Let me conf kill confirmed. Continuing on with the mission. Alright, nice. Okay, and then Mika, you are supercharged and you are ready to go. Let's get it. Should have watched it. It's alright. Oh, it seems very angry. And it seems very dead. And what did we end up getting? Beam Knowledge Level 1. What does that mean? Those who hunt angels is complete. So, there you have it. The stage has been cleared. Looks like Commissar got the most kills with 11. Self bringing up the second place with 9, tied with Zex for 9. 
Not bad. And we got 24,300 uh, capital. You see our capital is up over 3.5 million at this point. We're slowly climbing back to that 4 million mark where I guess at that point we would not have used any of the extra money that we got from the DLCs or the expansion pack thing. So, But we definitely dipped into that and it, it definitely springboarded us to where we're at. Okay, get information. Half-Beak, Warc class, worship, Kujin family. And a small container vessel with missile launcher. Weird, but fine. Okay, those are warships that were added. Then Takaki uh, Uno, quest dear friend complete. Clear the stage, Aston Atland, clear the stage. Akihiro Atland. Or Altland, excuse me. Um, register Masahiro and Austin to the scout list. All right. High sensitivity sensor two. Quest those who hunt angels. Plus five to accuracy. Igazuki destroys the hash ball with a morale of super high or higher. Okay. So there we have it. That was a uh, was a that was a lot. That was a big long mission. We didn't get any captures from that, but got quite a few things. I kind of want to look at, um, I want to produce, I just want to look at the warships that we have here. So we already have the half, the half beak class warship for the Ariane Rod fleet, the Outer Earth Regulatory Joint fleet, and now the Kujin family fleet, uh, the Venatus. And then we picked up the small container vessel with missile launcher. Oh, so sad. <laughs> so many of these things are just really sad. But if you needed a, a warship, I guess that's something. Now let's look at the mobile suits. Let's go from the top down and see any of the new ones that have come through. If there are any new ones. Does not look like there's any new ones. But boy, howdy, do we have a lot of stuff registered. Uh, the, the Gundam Barbatos sixth form. Jeez. The Talgis three, the Master Phoenix. I still want to grab that thing. I think that's going to be really cool. I haven't picked it up yet because I don't want to spend the... It, it seems pathetic now, 48,000. The Forbidden Gundam, we have that boy. The Regan Lays Julia, yep. Augies F, the Bandit, Gundam Chimeris Trooper, the Grim Gurde. Hmm. Claros, oh, oh, Ryus, uh, Ryuse Go. Gundam Novel, Gundam Astray Goldframe Amaterasu. Yep, 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 yep. And that's pretty much it. So there's nothing that's technically new, new. And I like that the Barbatos full maxed out with the, uh, the Lupus Rex version of it is right up there with the Epion and the Epion uh, from Endless Waltz. Like, it's like on par with those mobile suits, which the only things that we have that are higher than that are the Strike Freedom Gundam and the Destiny Gundam, at least thus far. So, pretty cool stuff all around. I'll, I'll definitely take it. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to buy the Master Phoenix. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to buy it. I'm sure we can find a spot for it. Like, 100%. Kind of want to take a look at it. So, what does it become? It can become a Phoenix Zero. Phoenix Zero One, Phoenix Gundam, or the Phoenix Gundam Full Power. I, I feel like these should all be... Well, they are. They're all, like, worse than this version of the Phoenix Gundam. Oh, sorry, the Master Phoenix. Huh. Pretty strange. Even the Full Power one is weaker. 
This one's really good at ground and underwater stuff, though, which is interesting. Yeah, right, we'll move that down. We'll figure out what to do with it later on. Don't really feel like doing that right now. And again, we got a lot of other stuff that we could just use. It would be fantastic. But we'll get there. Uh, don't we have an H3 something? I thought I had an H3 one. Did I? Oh, you know what? I maybe... Yeah, I did. And I, I used it. Yeah, it's over here. I haven't got to see how it works yet, but it's there. It's just kind of sweet. And, yeah, I mean, there's not much else I really want to do. If we take a look at the uh, development for this, we can backtrack to the Epion. We can go with the Aquarius, which I'm not even sure what that is. Also, don't think it's better than what we have. Uh, and then we can look at the Tall Geese 3. Again, definitely a downgrade. And then the only one that would maybe be on par with this, again, maybe, would be the Wing Gundam Zero Endless Waltz. That is kind of the foil for what the Epion brings to the table. So, like, those two are kind of always intertwined. So, very, very interesting. But, alas, I, I do prefer the Epion. I just think it's cooler. Just saying. I'm just saying. Um, I don't know, man. Sand Rock is kind of lame. Uh, when we, we could get Quatra, I think that's his name. Uh, to technically pilot it, and then at least we'd have the right person piloting the Gundam as opposed to her, but I don't know, maybe I'll make that change at some point. He is available since we did actually poop out the uh, Sandrock Gundam, so. But the Hugo meant we got the other guy. I mean, like, there's there's stuff. I don't I don't know. We got, we got a lot of unused Gundams, though, and a lot of just unused stuff in general. And, and this boy... This bad boy right here. The old Jin Long Range Reconnaissance type. Big fan. I like it a lot, actually. Alright, folks. I guess we'll break it off. Like I said, this is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode before we fully commit to breaking it off. Let's go and just take a peek at what's next. Oh, the saddest of sads. I don't even want to do this level. Gonna make me cry on the inside. It is really sad. Um, we'll be in space for this one. Why is he there? Interesting. Anyway, sad times are ahead for sure. And it's gonna suck, but we're moving forward and it looks like we're pretty close to the end of the the Iron-Blooded Orphan's main uh, tale, so we got this one and two more, and then that uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it all up, so hopefully you guys are all on board with that, and uh, yeah, yeah. I suppose we'll see what happens in the very next episode. Thanks for stopping by, folks. I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Take care, and we play, we fight, we conquer.